Ciao a tutti, benvenuti al mio canale, mi chiamo Eva e oggi voglio spiegare come ho imparato a parlare italiano. Okay, so before I start to explain how I actually learned Italian, I really want to say a massive thank you to all of you who have recently subscribed. I did not expect this kind of dramatic <laughs> increase in my subscriber count. I think I'm getting close to 4,000 now. Um, and I feel like it was just a few weeks ago where I was at like 200. So thank you so much to everybody who's been subscribing, commenting, and those of you who are reaching out to me on Instagram. Um, if I'm a little slow at responding, it's just because I'm kind of not very good at social media, but I'm trying to be better at it. So thank you again. I'm super, super excited. Um, I'm really happy to be connecting with all of you. And it just makes me so happy that there are people who are enjoying some of the content that I'm putting out. So thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you. <laughs> probably had a lot of experience studying languages in school. I personally studied French for five years. I do not speak one word of French. A lot of that has to do with the fact that I've forgotten most of what I've studied. But the fact is, when I was in school, my lessons were focused primarily on grammar and reading, which is the exact opposite of what you should do when you are learning a language. Grammar comes second, speaking comes first. So, something that I did when I got really serious about learning Italian was I found this program and it's called Fluent in 30 Days. I'm gonna clarify that because maybe it's not true. And it really emphasizes speaking as much as possible, even if your level of language is like baby level, where you can say, one or two few words, you can introduce yourself, you can ask simple questions like, how are you? As long as you were speaking, this is the key because it starts to get you feeling comfortable in the language. And when you're reading and when you're studying grammar, you gain all of this knowledge, but you never accomplish gaining the confidence that you need to actually say the words that you've studied. So this is the first key, speak, often speak as early as you can and don't worry about sounding stupid. Ciao, mi chiamo Eva e io sono di Stati Uniti, vivo a New York, mi piace leggere e danza. I do want to clarify that once I actually got to Italy, I was taking a language course for my first year here. So I was studying Italian two hours a day, five days a week, which is 10 hours of Italian where I'm learning the grammar, I'm speaking in class, and I'm speaking with people around me. So that really helped me to get to like a B1. And now I would say my level in Italian is like a a high B1, borderline B2, but I'm missing some grammar that would get me at a true B2. Um, if anybody's unfamiliar with this, there's like a language grading scale for your ability and your level of grammar, your level of vocabulary that designates how good of a speaker you are in the language. And it goes from A1 to C2, C2 being mother tongue, you were born in speaking the language and A1 being to complete basics, you don't know anything <laughs> at all. You also may be wondering, how in the world do I practice this language? Especially if you're living in the States and you don't have access to someone who speaks your target language, whether it's Italian, Spanish, French, whatever. There are so many online programs that will help you to accomplish this. I personally used a website called italki, and on there I was able to find free language partners as well as tutors for like low fees 
that I could speak and practice Italian with. So I did a little bit of both. I did lessons with a tutor and I also did free language partners. And that helped me really honestly get me to like a level A2 when I was zero. I had no Italian whatsoever and I bumped myself all the way up to an A2 um, just using that kind of method. Of course, I did do some studying on my own before I started working with a tutor and before I started working with a language partner. And this is where I suggest that once you decide you want to learn a language, you need to start understanding what are the basic phrases that you need to be able to communicate. Like saying your name, asking someone how they're doing, saying where you're from. Um, asking where someone else is from, really, really simple phrases that can introduce a small conversation. So when you have a language partner or when you have a tutor, you can say some things and feel really proud that you've accomplished that little bit because any small milestone is a super big deal when learning a language because it's a long road, it's a hard road, and it really just doesn't happen overnight. No matter how many courses you'll see that will tell you become fluent in 30 days, become fluent in 60 days, it's, it's just not natural to learn language that quickly. Um, but anything that you can do from small, very small beginnings to really hard level language um, is something to celebrate. Something that I did, which I'm sure everyone who's watching this has heard people recommend, is to listen to music in your target language and to watch television and film in your target language. But one of the best pieces of advice that I've ever gotten, and I got this from a tutor, was that if you're going to watch a film, for example, in your target language, like for me, I watched films in Italian, it's not enough to just watch it in Italian with English subtitles. You need to watch things in Italian or in your target language and read subtitles in your target language. And that's gonna work both parts of your brain, right? Where you're trying to understand, you're also reading and you're paying attention to the grammar. You can physically see what words are being said on the television show. And that will help you so, so much. So, so for me, I prefer to watch shows that have very basic language. And that means I like to watch a lot of cartoons. Steven Universe, uh, Amazing World of Gumball, I watch all of those shows in Italian with Italian subtitles. And that's helped me so much with my level of understanding. It's very, very simple. It's simple grammar, simple language with a little bit of slang thrown in there, but it's nowhere near as difficult as trying to watch, I don't know, for example, Subura in Italian. It's really difficult, <laughs> okay? You would be stopping like every five seconds if you're trying to watch like a really adult show with adult content and adult themes. And majority of the time it's gonna have very specific targeted language depending on what kind of show it is, whether it's like a medical show or it's a crime show. Um, it can be very, very difficult and honestly super exhausting. So if you are young at heart and you like cartoons, watch cartoons in your target language. It's so much fun. It really helps you to understand and you don't feel bad that you don't know these super large words that will come up in adult shows. So you can't lose. Okay guys, so that's it for this video. It's super, super quick, but I find that these like basic tips have really served me and helped me in learning to speak Italian. And again, I have to say, I'm not fluent. I still struggle a lot. There are days where I can speak to someone and it's almost like I have no idea what's being said or what's coming out of my mouth. And I also really struggle when I'm in groups. So big groups of Italians are extraordinarily intimidating for me and I completely shut down and I, am, I become mute, I can't speak. So take what I say, you know, and run with it. It's good advice, I think. I think it will get you to at least getting to a point of being like a B1, you know. Um, but overall, 
learning a language is a long journey. It's a marathon, not a race. So do what you can, find what methods work for you, but just make sure that speaking, 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 speaking is the best thing that you can do to help you move further and faster in your language. It is the only way you're gonna be speaking. Don't worry about your grammar mistakes. Don't worry about sounding stupid. And try to have as much fun as you can. Okay, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Ciao.